Okay. Are you ready for no, the interview? Are you ready for the interview? Yes. Okay. Okay, good. So, the first question is, how did you start working here? At STEM Mines. At STEM Mines. Um, okay. So, I was in a um, course. When I finished, uh, they uh, offered me to be, uh, like, a volunteer in STEM Mines, and I agreed. And after my volunteer work, they proposed me a job. Mm. And this is the way how I started to work there. Ah. Why are you interested interested in this field of work? Okay. Um, so, STEM, as you know, is uh, science technology, engineer, and math. Mm -hmm. It's different fields and different subjects. And nowadays, our world are, uh, is uh, very technological. And uh, it's very interesting to know uh, about different process, about different projects, about some natural phenomena, about some... Like aliens? Um, hmm? Like aliens? <laughs> Oh, yeah, kind of. <laughs> Why not? Uh, so, th this is my answer. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Did you have to go to university or college? Yes, I am. I uh, finished uh, university. Okay. Hold on. Did you go to Bill and Ted University or college? University. <laughs> Okay. Oh, There's no such thing okay. as Bill and Ted University. Okay. Uh, okay. Next question. Next question. What programs in school did you have to take or are taking? Um, I finished my school not in Canada, and uh, we have a little bit different um, school programs. But what I can say that you can take math, science, mm -hmm. and uh, science can include chemistry, physics, biology, and uh, technology. Uh, it's uh, next. And computer science. Mm -hmm. So this is subject are connected to STEM. Ah, okay. How long does it take to finish all the courses to work at STEM Minds? <clears throat> it depends on several factors. Um, so it depends on the level of education. For example, we can have bachelor degree or master degree. For bachelors, you need to take, I think, four years, and for masters, uh, one or two years edition. Ah, okay. What do you enjoy teaching the most, and why? <laughs> um, so, I like to work with children. And uh, I like uh, to see how they learn and how they have results after some topics. And also, so this is the key answer. <laughs> okay. Okay. But, okay. Yeah. Last question. How can I also become like you? So, study well. Study well. Uh, yes, you need to listen to your parents. I do. Yeah, you should to explore different fields and different subjects 
and try to know more and yeah try to to find what you will be you will like and yeah this is the way <laughs> okay maybe <laughs> thank you so much for your time thank you also. okay see you on the weekend thanks for all your information yeah see you on saturday we're gonna do a chemistry experiment let's get started I have these two wires, so the let's see. You've got that, and hmm. okay. So we need to put on our gloves so that we don't get the chemicals splashing everywhere. So we are going to put this in chloride. Careful, Mama. It's not really opening. All of it. Pour the tin chloride chloride into the pantry dish. All of it? Uh, just do it slowly first. We'll see how much is left. Ooh. Oof. Might need a bit more water. Okay. <laughs> I think that's okay, bad stop. <laughs> do you, do you oh. want... Oh, it's okay. Oh. Just do it slowly, carefully. Okay. Okay. Now on top. Right on top. Yeah, just slowly. So, it, so just a bit of water because it's very, so, yeah. There. Now that well, it's a big bubble made out of gas and chloride, the and tin, obviously. Um, a bit more water. Ah, uh, okay. We always have to try and keep it clean, right? Yeah. Here Did you just water. turn it? Yeah. Okay. So you've got enough water in there. Let's hope that it it's very diluted. So. You have to add two drops of liquid soup. Soap. Soap. And mm. two. Mm. put this over here and then the other one over here on the other side the red one on the left side right is this the left this. Mm -hmm. then the other one on the right side. that's where you go that's way really easier. Right. Okay. Then we have to put this side over here. I don't. It just won't work. I don't know why. And I can't. Okay. Just do it like that. Okay. 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 This can't go. Hmm. Is something happening yet? Mm, I, not this, really. It's very faint. The electrons are moving, right? So the battery pack is. Um, make sure the batteries are properly. Let me just see something. Hold on. So this one is, is positive, and it's releasing the electrons. Electro. Oh yeah. And the negative. the negative one is collecting them and bringing them towards it. So what did we do? Did, did you did you change the? We oh. changed the batteries because it's taking a bit long. But what do you see so far? What's your, what are your observations? I see. Do you see something happening? Right? Very small white lines going mm -hmm. around in the mixed chemicals. Mm -hmm. Next time, I want to do this with different. I want to do the same thing, but with different chemicals, and then put it in my own yeah. way or something. Like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna film it. So if you don't see it happening as well as you did before. Um, I see it, I see it. I yeah, it's taking it. a long time. There might not be enough uh, tin in the solution, that's all. But there's, you just have to keep trying different things, right? Mm -hmm. 
you do see something. It's just not as, as much as you would normally. Who would be interested in this badge, Oriel? Uh, I think a lot of girls would be interested in this badge because it, it is really fun. Chemistry. Okay, why did you want to earn this badge? Because I want to, my job to be a scientist when I grow up, and I also want to learn about more about chemistry. Okay. Who was your role model, and why did you pick them? My role mo model is Elena because she is my teacher at robot school. And I've been with her for over th for over a year, over three years or something, and uh, and she, and she makes learning fun, and she knows science and robots. What um, did you learn, try, and or make that you want to sh that you want to share with others? So. I, I, I did an experiment earlier with, with tin, and it, it shows how electrons move. And, and there are these little um, uh, things, like, they look like parasites with, like, things, uh, spiky things coming out of them. Like the tin pulling it in, it, those are pieces of tin, and inside the tin are electrons. And inside the electrons... Is dendrites. Oh no no, <laughs> they're called dendrites. The the shape that it makes. Dendrites. Yeah. Yes, the tin. they're called dendrites. That's what the tin is called. Dendrites. And it was lots of fun.